It has been an honor for us to support uh, very strongly this, financially this initiative, which we think is a very good initiative to start to launch a debate that is at the core of uh, the science policy today in Europe. And in fact, um, it's clear that in the middle of uh, uh, the, the crisis that we are having, we need to think on what we have. There are probably only two certainties in life. One is death, the other one being the resources are scarce, except one, which is human creativity. And we need to pour on this uh, uh, human creativity in this resource that, in principle, is infinite. And this is something that we have uh, very clearly in um, Europe, but has a number of uh, features that make them or make science very politically adverse. And the two features that make science politically adverse, one is that uh, science bears fruits always in the long term. The second is that science is about uncertainty. And therefore, with these two uh, features, it would be difficult to persuade any investor, what they call the markets, to invest heavily in uh, this activity. And that's why we need, and it's very important, that we involve sci uh, society from the very beginning, very upstream, and making all of us the uh, understand, I have the understanding that science is not an issue of scientists, but science is an issue of society. And scientists are here to contribute to address societal challenges. And this is not about us, but about so, us scientists, but about society at large. This is what science, and this is the cultural change that we need to operate in society, uh, that all of us, we are engaged in this endeavor, that society. And this is the only way that will convince uh, decision makers when they will be pushed by society, uh, that society wants resources to address and to, continue to address these societal challenges. At the European Commission, we are responsible, as you know, for Horizon 2020. And uh, we try to lead by example in this research and responsible innovation. That is, we want to have in all the dimensions of research and responsible innovation, be there and engaging uh, society from the very beginning. That's why Horizon 2020, instead of, topping, uh, of talking about topics or scientific areas uh, speaks now about societal challenges. So I want to convey this message from the very beginning that we are speaking and we are tackling society problems that deal and, and affect and contribute to address problems of the society, problems that, by the way, no one, uh, no country on its own would be able to cope uh, alone. So that need to be addressed jointly. And this is where the European value, added value is. And on these dimensions, the most important one and the most difficult one is public engagement. And en engaging the public since the very beginning uh, in discussing with us how to, uh, which are the areas, instead of us deciding which are the important areas for society and the important uh, problems that society has, but that society, in a way, discusses with those who will be, in the end, setting the policy. So having a discussion on which are identifying the areas. We heard uh, this morning, uh, well, one hour ago, that um, social media can play a huge role in helping and, and fostering this dialogue. 
and this is one of the venues. But there are many experiences, and we heard these two days experiences on how to engage the public in, first of all, identifying the, uh, the areas the, which are the priorities in the scientific agenda. And this is a difficult issue, but nonetheless we have the duty. I mean, we don't have an alternative. It's not that some do it this way and some others do it the other. I mean, we need to have society with us, otherwise we'll not uh, have, uh, the, 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 the scientific battle will be lost. So we need to have society with us. And society is asking us, is requesting us to step in and to be engaged in our decisions. We can think of um, education, education both formal and informal, since the very beginning. We are um, also having, we have many experiences on that. We have a, pr a program that also has a long date in the, uh, our framework program. But certainly uh, discussing with children very early uh, in the school how to uh, make them aware and, and participating and identifying and being <coughs> active in, in the science is certainly a major issue, a major challenge. Gender um, is, of course, essential and um, for two reasons. One, it's a matter of fairness, but also it's a matter of um, we cannot waste 50% of the talent we have in society. So it will be completely nonsense. So that's why in gender we need to address uh, through gender this uh, societal involvement. In ethics is probably the area in which we have um, have advanced the most. Nobody challenges today that ethics is an intrinsic dimension on any research, and this was not the case just 20 years ago, 15 years ago, and now this is the case. Well, ethics can tell us how we can do with the other dimensions uh, that we should progress in the same way so that is integrated, that public engagement that gender, <coughs> that open access, all these dimensions of responsible research and innovation are as integrated as ethics is in any research project, in any uh, scientific uh, project. Which are the roles of um, the media here? Well, first of all, um, and, and, and it's uh, clear that the scientific Scientists are used to address themselves to the scientific community, but much less um, experience to address society at large, to deal with um, the public at large. And for this step, this rich uh, media can uh, play a major role, not just to convey messages to society, but also to hear what society has to tell us. One of the problems that we, we've seen very often in science is that the fears and expectations of society towards a new scientific advancement or towards a new technology uh, do not match with reality. The fears and expectations, and we have plenty of examples of, of this, and, and uh, the, the response is not to say this is nonsense, but to discuss with society why they have these fears, why they have these expectations, and through the debate, try to match the fears and expectations with what the reality is. And I think that this is a huge challenge in which media can play this uh, role, this role of bridge, the bridge that um, it's a very honorific role. In fact, one of the institutions with more uh, tradition in our society, that is a Catholic church, the top person is called the Pontifex Maximus, so the one who breaches. And this breach is what we are asking uh, the uh, uh, media to do, to help us to do, to breach ourselves, uh, the, uh, ourselves as society and ourselves as scientists. 
so that, that they create bridges so that this communication flows in both ways in a much smoother way than it has happened so far. So I hope that um, the discussions that we had today, we have today, lead us to some engagement, some commitments from ourselves on what to do next. It's very nice to have uh, conferences, but so what? I mean, we need to uh, commit ourselves. We, in the Horizon 2020, we represent a small part of science in Europe, but we are committed to advance in all the five dimensions of uh, responsible research and innovation, but we would like to, to enlarge this uh, commitment to many other stakeholders uh, here, including, uh, of course, researchers, other researchers, those participating in Horizon 2020, but those not participating, policymakers, businesses, the, uh, the society. Uh, I mean, we need to advance much more in this, and certainly the media that can help us to play a major role in this advancement. So I think it would be very good if we could, at the end of this, and probably with the outcome that Erika will send us, that we have some sort of commitment for the future that we can clearly see that we have a, a next step from where we are today to the cultural change that our society badly needs, that is engaging the society in science and the science in society. Thank you very much.